So you're in U.S. wanting to help with midterms because you're you think the last hope for everybody around the world is America. Yes. And you said you fully support Second Amendment. Yes. You fully support all that stuff. How different is freedom of speech in America, Second Amendment in America than it is in UK? So we uh-huh. kind of get you can get some optics. Yeah, it's wild. So I was in the back of a Uber yesterday. And this lovely lady was driving and I said something about um, difference in driving in the UK, US. I said it's different because you guys could have a weapon in your car and people kind of have some respect for that. Where I live, we're not allowed weapons. We don't have a Second Amendment. We're not allowed to be armed. Our police officers are not armed on the streets of the UK. They don't carry weapons. We have armed response units. Tyler, did you know that? Police officers in UK are not armed? Yes. They have whistles and batons, right? They have a whistle. A whistle. That stops all crime. They got, a, makes they got a, a baton that yeah. They, yeah. they'll beat some ass with. Yeah. They've got literally, that. that that's, is literally the truth of the on. matter. What's the logic behind that, though? This weird, <laughs> and so I'm British, but I'm more American with the 2 yeah. thing, right? This weird British idea that if you don't have guns, it makes you safer and so when, let's just say, a jihadi comes up and goes on a stabbing spree, as they did on Westminster Bridge, he just stabbed the police officer. Yeah. And there's, they have just a whistle to blow. I've had a lot of whistles. I've never seen a whistle <laughs> stop a no. criminal. It's just, no, but yeah. they, they only just don't have a whistle. They've got batons. They've got, they've got yeah, other items. They just don't have guns. What does that do with a knife, though, or a car? Like, Listen, or I'm, a not, car here to, I'm not here to defend uh, yeah. British police or their mentality. I'm letting you know they just have more than a whistle. Well, yeah, but if a car is coming at you, at least a, a cop would be able to shoot through the windshield. Because, I mean, like she just mentioned... Knives are, are prevalent, and a car roll does a lot Teddy, of you damage. You can't throw a baton through a windshield? No, actually, well, unless your aim is that. amazing we and it loops around, that. but no, you, you need a gun, bro. You need, you need a gun. Yeah, so Sorry. Brits do not understand they Second Amendment. They do not understand guns. Pierce Morgan is totally anti-Second Amendment. How, how did, he's and a, he sounds like a, like he can, he, he, he's, he sounds like a smart guy. How is he? Anti Second Amendment, not believing in you know even cops or people having guns. It's the wildest thing. Uh, that's not the only thing Piers Morgan has been disgusting about. He was disgusting about lockdown. He was pushing the vaccine passport. He believed people shouldn't even be allowed to go anywhere near any form of travel if they didn't have a vaccine passport. He was the pusher of the whole lockdown stuff that went on. So don't even bring up Piers Morgan. So that was part one of your question was about weapons. Part two was something else. Yeah, like freedom of speech. So you're, oh, you're okay. saying, hey, you guys, have, you still have freedom of speech. Some people will say it's kind of gradually going away. Uh, and, you know, some things are being, you know, uh, but still, how different is that in yeah. UK? So for us, we have such a large web of um, hate speech laws. So it, effectively, truth becomes hate speech. And therefore, if you speak the truth, it's an arrestable offence. I've been arrested for a column in a newspaper. For example, we have people arrested for comments on chat groups. Or if you make a comment on a Facebook page that is not deemed as appropriate, that is hate speech, police officers turn up at your door and arrest people. And arguably, you've got hints of that here when you have the FBI turning up at James O'Keefe's door for no apparent reason other than he's on the wrong team. Um, So certainly for us, when I left the UK a couple months ago, the last thing I did was a big stand up night uh, in a theatre with a guy that is just doing similar to what I do. Uh, that guy is now in prison in the UK. He was sentenced that week. When he, we got off stage, he was sentenced to five and a half years in jail for speech, for videos on YouTube that were said to be stalking and harassment of people. What, Basically what doing what we just doing this. He was just bringing up different people, Meghan Markle, somebody. It was a lot of the BBC he was going for, a lot of their presenters. But for doing this... He was, he was, uh, it was the first case of its kind. And when you get new law, you know you're always in trouble. Mm. New law that said that that was stalking, online stalking, and he's now inside five and a half years. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.